This video is brought to you by G2A.com. Check out the link in the description for more details. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Unturned 3.0 Survival Guide video series. Now in the last episode we uh, built the base and we got things set up and I have expanded on the base since then. As you can see we have uh, more room now. I've increased the crate sizes. I've got some more campfires. I got rid of the stairs and put a ladder in which I like a lot better. And so today, what I thought we would talk about is defending your base, traps and barricades and things like that. What you need to essentially keep yourself safe from other players and against zombies and things like that. Now, first and foremost, your first line of defense is going to be the base itself. And like we talked about in the last one, there are different base designs that you could pursue that would allow you to get a little bit more um, support and protection. You know, for example, building on the water can definitely help. And, but for the sake of this video, we're not going to really talk about that. What we're going to talk about instead is defending it with the things that you can craft in game, which there are traps, there are barricades, there are fortifications. Now, first and foremost, we'll just kind of walk you through what uh, I actually have. I, I took a long time and actually gathered a ton of stuff. You can see lots of scrap metal, lots of logs. So I think I should have everything that I need. I hope so. Or we're gonna have to go out and find some. Now, first and foremost, I talk. We'll, we'll talk through the different types of traps that there are and how to make them. And I can kind of show you how to make them if you guys are interested in that. And just walk through the various things that you're going to need to do to make these things. Now, let me go ahead and um, let me let me get my chainsaw back out. I'm gonna put this away. Because I, I will go out and I'll cut down a tree real fast. Actually, I have some logs, so it doesn't really matter. But what you want to do, uh, first and foremost, let's go ahead and let's just walk through this. So we've got spikes. Now, spikes will um, essentially stab a player if they walk over it. It will leave them bleeding and at a decreased amount of health. So very dangerous, very easy to destroy. So they could destroy them. So if you hide them in a good spot or maybe you make them blend in with your base, you know, that could uh, that can obviously serve, uh, serve you well. But they are very easy to destroy, and I'll show you that. Um, but there are three different types depending on the tree. There's birch, maple, and pine spikes. There's a barbed wire, which you can make, and caltrops. Now, caltrops will also leave you, all of these will leave you bleeding at a degree to health. Uh, caltrops, not as much, but they're hard to see. They're very small, but they're not nearly as durable as barbed wire. Now, in 2.0, there were barbed wire fences and electrified fences, so I don't know if those will make a return. But if they do, essentially, those were just built with uh, barbed wire some traps and some uh, wooden and a generator and things like that and so it's very easy but currently there's just three different types of traps that you can make short of I mean if you want to make a trap in your base like they're going through a maze in your base and you have a floor missing and they fall into the floor and there's spikes down there they're gonna die so you can get kinda creative but currently there's three things and then we have fortifications and barricades and, and the various colors depending on the tree so you could essentially if you wanted to you know like lay down some spikes like right in front of your door or something and if somebody comes let me see I just want to make sure I have stuff somebody comes walking through here BAM they get hit they're bleeding you know huge huge thing of health gone there and uh, so they're they're very very uh, dangerous but they are also very easy to kill so if you uh, I'll just shoot it up a little bit so yeah, there you go it went down like like instantly um, two shots I think like a hit from a sledgehammer or something like that usually takes them out and then we have barbed wire now um, let me see do I have any meds I don't think so I might have to go get some meds um, to demonstrate this because I don't want to keep I'm gonna walk over them and you can see how much damage it does to me so that uh that left me at 68% health and bleeding, so, you know, that right there is a huge chunk of your, your uh, health gone. So then, it, let's say you're defending the base and then somebody walks over a trap and then you shoot them, you know, they're going to they're gonna die in like two hits, basically. So, um, very, very dangerous. Very dangerous items. So hopefully there's some good meds in here and I've got another mag. I don't need any more. And i got another maple strike. And I don't need that. Um, mine is good. I'm just gonna ignore that for now. We're just doing solo players, so it's not like I need to gather anything. I just need to, I just need to essentially repair my gun if anything happens. 
There's a military, there's a mega zombie over there. Okay, sweet. We have some dressings, suture kits. There's Zimbo. So we're pretty good off, I think. Okay, so let's go back to base. Actually, we don't need to go back to base. Let's just lay this down right here and I'll just show you. So if you walk over barbed wire, this is like the most dangerous trap that's currently in game. So 58% health, bleeding very quickly. You know, I ripped my legs up right there. Big time. Alright, Caltrop. I don't have anything to uh, bandage myself up with. Two shots from a gun. There goes the barbed wire. That's also very, very easy to, to get rid of. I need more, uh, I need some cloth is what I need. Come on, Mega, let's do this. They take a lot of hits to the face, and he's still not dead. Now I do need that mag. I thought he would die. Coming in. Eight shots. Wow, he's not dead yet. Oh my god. Got him. Alright. What do we get here? Military barrel. Horizontal grip. Desert Eagle mag. Anything else? Military suppressor. I already have one. I don't need it. So let me get the... Uh, give me one second here. I did not intend on running into a... I don't need, uh, I don't need these anymore. We've already demonstrated that. Did not intend on running into a mega zombie. All oh, right, nice mags there. Um, I have a bunch of mags at base, so I don't necessarily need these, but I'm, I don't want to have to go back and get that real fast. All right, so caltrops. Oh, that's what I was looking for. I was looking for uh, some clothing or something to make a bandage. There's some barbed wire. So you can find barbed wire like this just laying around. You can find it at various different areas here you can find it at um do i have a vest yeah, i do you can find it at like the uh, construction sites or at the the place in alberton like on the docks you can find them all over the place okay i think i'll be fine here let's just go ahead and put this down so caltrops very small very hard to see and if you run over them uh they they do quite a bit of damage too and so you can take a lot of damage from those things. Okay, that did heal me up, by the way. But they're very easy to destroy. It's so only one shot there. So after that long detour of of uh, me looking for stuff, you can see that it's uh, the traps are very easy to destroy. But there's different ones, and you can hide them. You can line things like now. For example, let's uh let's go ahead and, and head back into the base here, and I'll show you the varying uh barricades and fortifications that you can get and you can make all of this stuff yourself okay that's the thing that's the thing to know you can make all this stuff yourself so barricades are um, different than fortifications because barricades can be placed down anywhere they can be placed on cars and things like that they can be placed down anywhere so you can use these to like line your windows or something like that and it'll protect you that way but fortifications I think I spawned all these in just to show you the different, just show you the fact that there's one for each one. Fortifications are a little bit different because, let me actually get those fortifications. Fortifications can be actually placed on doors and on windows. I believe doors. Doorways? Maybe not. Because I have that door there. I'm not entirely sure. But it can be placed on windows. And so you could like completely barricade up, you know, you could fortify up a window if you wanted to. Or... You can do what we do in a multiplayer servers, which is where we do like half the window. So like if we're shooting here or something like that and there's a guy coming, you know, we can hurry up and duck it back in cover, pop back out, kind of like that. So fortifications, barricades, they're different. Barricades can be placed on anywhere. Fortifications can be placed on, on like base structures. So um, let me just dump these off. I don't need these anymore. So now let's walk through how you actually make some of this stuff. Um, okay, so first and foremost, we have the spikes. And to make the spikes, we just need six sticks. So we can either go and cut down a tree and get the sticks that way, which I'll just do real fast. Or you could, you know, cut it down from a plank into the, into the sticks that way, if you wanted to do that. But I'll just get the sticks for now. 
Hopefully they're enough. I don't think there are. And you have to have them, you know, from the same tree. You can't have like four pine and two birch or something like that. They have to be from the same tree. So there we go. We have six. So if we go to craft, um, here you go right here. Just go ahead and click on that. And now you can see that we made some spikes. There they go. Very, very easy to make those. Not hard at all. So just six sticks is all you need for that. Now uh, to make a cow trap. Actually, let's just go through the uh, the wooded structures, the wooded items first. So to make a barricade, you just need four planks and two sticks. So I have some maple here. So there's three, and then there we go. So now if we go to our barricaded area, you can see that we can make maple barricade. Four planks, two sticks. There we go. And you can see, there we go, we have that now. So like I said, you can place these down pretty much anywhere you want to. Like if you want to, I don't know, do something like that. So you can hide behind the door or something like that. Somebody's coming in. I don't know. Whatever you want to do, you, get, you can get very creative. Um, now the next thing is... Uh, fortifications which are just seven planks and so let's go back to our area here okay there's seven I why don't I always do that I do that every single time and seven out of seven there we go maple fortification so we could uh, I don't know let's just do it just for the just for the sake of everything so we just barricaded up our entire lower area now to make Keltrops and barbed wire, you need a lot of scrap metal. That's why I gathered all this. So to make a Keltrop, you need uh, two nails, which you can you can either find the nails or you can make the nails yourself. And uh, I think it's four scraps. So let me see here. Yeah, two, two. So there we go. And one more time. So now we have two nails. So we can take those nails, and you can see we can make like makeshift stuff, or where is it? There it is, under barricades. Two, two nails to make a gout drop. They're very, very tiny. They're very hard to see. And so I, I hate cow drops. They're, they're like the most dangerous thing in my opinion because they will leave you bleeding. And if you have like a whole cluster of them, that's even worse. You can get really messed up that way. So then to make barbed wire, you just need um, two wire, which you can find at like a construction site or something like that. Or you just need... 12 scrap metal which the easiest way to get scrap metal is to just destroy cars 7 8 9 10 11 12 just destroy cars and you can easily make um, what you need out of there so we need wire so let's just click that and there we go two wire and we can make some barbed wire where where is it there it is and there we go barbed wire made just like that so as you can see very very easy to do and uh, you know it does take quite a bit of resources to gather but once you have them it's not too hard three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve I was gonna show you uh, what you can do with these you need to wire here and then barricade it's at the top oh yeah we need two you can take you can actually take the barbed wire and you can place them like pretty much anywhere you want to put them. So like some people will like line the uh, like the top of like a base or something like that. And so if anybody tries to climb a ladder or something like that, they're gonna get hit by the barbed wire. Well, you know if somebody if somebody sees them, they can easily just two shot it and destroy it. So that's you know trapping up your base. It's very easy to do. It's not hard at all. It's uh, very useful and it doesn't really require that many materials. I mean, you can make spikes galore if you wanted to, um, but making things like barbed wire, cow trap, that does require quite a bit of scrap metal. So if you want to invest some time and collect scrap metal like that, you could do that. But um, everything else is pretty easy to make. It just requires wood for the most part. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it right there for the video. I don't really have anything else that I want to talk about in this video. I just wanted to focus primarily on traps and fortifications and things like that i know it's a little disorganized they're going to look for some um medical stuff but we had what we needed anyway so hope you guys enjoyed that anyway thanks for watching if you're new to the channel make sure to click that thumbs up button below and if you like this video please click that thumbs up button all right guys i'll see you next time